Now moving on to another health topic, it's the season for lice and there are several ways they can be remedied. Here's Alex with more. Do you remember the days when we all had to get checked for lice by the school nurse? Well, lice are making their way across the country, and scientists are reporting that they have developed resistance to over-the-counter treatments. Here to tell us more about these super lice is best-selling author and pediatrician Dr. Tanya Altman. Good morning, doctor. Good morning, Alex. It's great to have you on. So what exactly are these super lice that we're hearing about? So super lice, I know it sounds like a comic book character or something like that, but essentially what it is is regular lice that have genetically mutated and become resistant to the ingredient in most over-the-counter lice treatment products. And we know that lice is so contagious, it transfers easily from head to head when kids are in group settings or classrooms, and so it's really spreading throughout schools across the country right now. Okay, this is terrifying and everyone should be on high alert. Now, how are the symptoms different with super lice than they are with regular lice? So super lice and regular lice actually have the same symptoms. So you might notice that your child is scratching their scalp. Sometimes I first see a little rash behind the neck or behind the ear, and to me that's a sign that the child might have lice. You might even actually see a louse in your child's hair. It's a little bug, kind of the size of a sesame seed, grayish, whitish, or a little egg attached to the hair shaft near the scalp, and it doesn't flake off like dandruff. It's really stuck hard on there, and that's why they're so hard to get rid of. Okay, and Dr. Altman, I have never really known, I mean, aside from contact, of course, how does, how does lice spread from one person to the next? So lice crawl. They don't jump. They don't fly. They just crawl. But because kids are in so close, such close contact with each other, they're hugging, they're playing, they might share hats, they might share headbands or combs, or they stack up their jackets or sweaters on top of each other, and lice can crawl from one sweater to another, and then your child puts her sweater on or her hoodie on, and that's how she gets lice, and then she brings it home. So if your child has lice at home, you want to make sure that you walk all their clothing in hot water, dry it on hot. Same with the bedding. You can vacuum the couch, but you don't really need to go crazy because lice really don't live off of the human head for more than a day or two. Got it, got it. And so does this mainly affect kids? I haven't heard of a lot of adults that have been affected with super lice or lice in general. Well, lice can affect anyone, and as a parent, if your child has lice, sometimes the parents do get it, but generally lice is more common in school-aged children because they're the ones with the clean hair that lice like, and they're hugging and really close and playing with each other, and that's often how lice gets passed around. So if you know that your child has lice, you want to treat it as soon as possible, and there is a great new, effective, safe, non-pesticide, non-toxic treatment, which you can buy over the counter at your local drugstore. It's called Nix Ultra, and it's the only product right now that is approved to kill super lice, regular lice, and their eggs. That's excellent, and so how does it actually work to, to kill these parasites? And that's a great question. So it essentially coats the lice and the eggs and the hair shaft in a super slippery substance. It's like mineral oil. And then you can easily comb the lice and nits out of your child's hair. And in the past, that's been one of the hardest things to do, especially if you have a daughter or a child with lots of hair, lots of curly, kinky hair. You have to sit there and comb through every single hair. But with NYX Ultra, it makes the whole process a lot easier and it's actually very effective. So one treatment is often enough to get rid of lice and that way it won't spread to everybody else in your house. This is revolutionary. I mean, I've heard of some old school treatments like mayonnaise and of course shaving your kid's head, but I don't imagine that would be too popular with uh, the girl with the long hair. So Dr. Altman, if people wanna learn a little bit more about Nix and about other ways to treat lice, where can they go? So if you want to know more about lice, how to identify it, how to prevent it, how to treat it, you can go to nixlice.com, and there's a lot of great resources on that site for parents. Dr. Tanya Altman, thank you so much for joining us today. Thank you, Alex. All right. Everybody else, stay right where you are. The Morning Blend will be right back.